Over the years, Panda Global has been able to make a team full of players that fans love to root for with dynamic personalities and playstyles that keep you entertained from both inside and outside the game. One of the areas that PG specializes in is finding players with a lot of promise to rise to the top and giving them those resources to actually be able to pursue that dream. Giving players that chance to reach the stars, that's something we find incredibly fulfilling at Panda Global, something that means a lot to us. But with this, eventually comes a time where they're able to stand out on their own and, and make the next move by themselves now that they've achieved so much and are on the path to achieve even more. So, unfortunately, today we're saying goodbye to three phenomenal players, Zane, Cosmos, and Kelezer. For Zane, picking him up as a rising star of Melee was a no-brainer. His style, combos, and efficiency made his Marth incredible to watch. He joined the Panda Global family in April 2018, less than a year from his breakup performance beating Plup at Pickout 6. Then he jumped straight into his Smash Summit 6 campaign, and we helped push his Spirit Bomb over the limit and get him into Summit, where he ended up placing third, the highest of any melee summit for a Vodan, even to this day, as his first event as Panda Global. From there, Zane kept raking in amazing wins and placements. Fifth at CEO 2018, ninth at EVO 2018, first at Full Bloom 5, the historic first place over Hungrybox at Shine 2018. Even his incredible run recently at Big House 9 are just a few of the feathers in his cap in the last year. Zane has climbed the ranks of the MPGR, starting at number 22 in the world when he first became a panda, He's ending his time with us now, ranked number 6. And on top of that, Zane has been popping off for content recently. He's been upgrading his stream, doing that grind, and showing the world that his personality is just as sharp as Marth Sword. Give Zane a follow if you want to show him some support, you will not regret that. He's going places. Cosmos was our last Smash 4 player and had an incredible story coming into PG. Cosmos worked toward a single goal for years, even back when he couldn't travel because of school. When we ran the PG Heat tournaments, his Wi-Fi corn always seemed to win, but he'd give the flight to the second place winner. He would go to local tournaments wearing PG gear and won nothing more than to be a panda. When he was finally able to travel, he made his mark in the community and it was only a matter of time until he wore the black and white for the first time as an official member of Panda Global in July 2018. Winning the Big House 8, the last major in Smash 4's life, was an incredible testament to his hard work. When Ultimate dropped, he poured all of that same work ethic into Inkling and became known as the best Inkling main in the world. He didn't place outside of top 8 for the first 6 months of the game's release, taking some incredible matches off some incredible players. He went to the first Ultimate Summit, showing off that he's more than just an Inkling main, he's also a great personality for the scene as well. Cosmos ended up ranked in the first PGRU at number 11 in the world. Don't let his last couple of rough months make you think he's not an incredible player. With his tenacity, he's going to grind and grind until he makes his mark in the upper echelons of the PGRU. No matter how many hours he tortures himself to watch Aya on loop, he's never going to fall off the map. If you want to support Cosmos' rise to the top, don't forget to give him a follow. Kelezer was our first foray into StarCraft 2. We were super intimidated to jump into the scene because it's been around for so long and we really wanted to do it well. And we realized there was no way to go wrong with Kelezer as our first representative in the community. The Brazilian hero is an incredible competitor with Terran and absolutely nobody can sleep on a skill. He told us before he joined PG that he'd be focusing a little bit more on school and moving around because of that, something that we fully supported. And despite his focus being split, he continued to be a force to be reckoned with, even with Terrans being in a rough place right now. We expect that Kelzer is going to make waves in the competitive StarCraft 2 scene again. Give him a follow and you will not regret it. Parting with players is always bittersweet for us at PG. While we're sad to see them going, we're also really proud of where they've gotten and who they've become while they were with us. We know that all three of these guys are going to go on to do amazing things and we wish them nothing but the best. As for 2020, Panda Global has some really cool plans in store, and I cannot wait to share them with you. Until I can, though, just remember, keep it PG.